Hello everybody, welcome to Market Masterclass uh, and we're looking at the Himalayas, the Himalayas, so we're looking at the country north of India, we're looking at Nepal which has by the way eight of the highest mountain peaks on our planet um, and uh, it is mainly an agricultural country, got 81% of the, the, the population is involved in agriculture are out of a population of 28 million people. Uh, they've had a lot of turmoil recently. They've gone from monarchy to communist uh, politics. Uh, but then the tragedy of 2015 major earthquake has um, meant that there's been a, a much higher poverty rate in the country. However, in 2005, the estimated uh, those below the poverty line was estimated to be as much as 80% in 2005. That has gone down to 25% currently, but went up a little bit after the tragedy of the 2015 earthquake. Unemployment is rated to be 38% in terms of global humanity, or hunger index rather. Uh, it's 54th out of 81, which is not a good thing. Uh, GDP uh, growth rate has been estimated at around 3.5%, but inflation is 10%. Uh, it's a very rural population. At one stage, I remember somebody telling me that uh, it was uh, in terms of the length of time it took to cross the length of the country, um, made it the largest country on earth because uh, you have to walk, walk, and walk, and walk uh, because there are massive mountains and hills and the roadways don't go from east to west and uh, anyway that's a, another thing altogether uh, only 30 percent of the population has access to internet uh, the exports have quite a lot of exports the carpets clothing leather goods jute grain herbs tea coffee steel cement bpo business is, is even in there software IT and furniture, um, quite important. Uh, India takes 61% of their exports. The USA takes 10%. Um, the power of the country is mainly through hydroelectricity, but that's an ongoing concern, and that depends on China, Japan, and Indian investment into the future. It still needs a lot more power in the country. Uh, the GDP remittances, there's a lot of overseas workers, remittances accounts for 29% of the gross domestic product in the country. So um, external aid is extremely important. That comes from the UK, the USA, Germany, Japan, Scandinavian countries, the World Bank, ADB, and the UN Development Pro Program. So very dependent on uh, inputs from around the world. Of course, tourism is massive in the country with the, the Himalayas and the, the hiking and the ancient capital city of Kathmandu. Um, interesting enough, in terms of religion, 84% of the religion is actually Hindu. 10% is Buddhist. 4% is Muslim. Uh, Christian, Christians make up half a percent and the Quranic religion and indigenous religion makes up about uh, 4% um, and that is the, the religious uh, standing of the community. In terms of imports, as you'd expect from a non-industrialized country, petroleum products, machinery, 61% comes from India. Guess what? China's in there. 15% comes from China. So in terms of life expectancy, interesting, high in the mountains there. The life expectancy in the country, despite poverty and unemployment, um, is the, the age of 68. So that's quite interesting, quite high uh, worldwide as, as a reference point. But uh, so Nepal, one of the poorer countries in the world, um, but uh, a, a very fantastic a scenic country and uh, they're doing okay and ticking along in the right direction and the population um, despite the massive upset of the earthquake are are rolling along in the right direction very warm and friendly people so that's Nepal I hope you found that 
useful and interesting. Bye for now.